Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen and in today's video I'm going to do my August TBR. So this is going to be a short and quick video because I typically do not plan TBRs for myself because I'm very much a mood reader. But I thought why not give myself a challenge for this month and just see what I can read. So first things first, I want to continue on with Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I'm already like 150 some pages into this and I am enjoying it. But of course, a little bit into it, I started to get in a little bit of a reading slump. Not because the book was bad, but because my mood just suddenly wasn't interested in fantasy anymore at the moment. So then I switched to contemporary. So I do want to get back into this and finish it because I am really enjoying it. For anyone who somehow doesn't know what this book is about, this book is about two sisters in this kingdom. The oldest one was betrothed to this god king or something for a while and she's been preparing for it her whole life and then all of a sudden her dad decides to send the little sister instead and so she is going to try to help her sister because her sister is clueless and that's all I really have so far in this and so far it's pretty good so I hope to continue and finish this and along the same note I also want to finally start Mistborn also by Brandon Sanderson this series has been hyped so much on booktube to the point where it is intimidating because what if I don't like it but then I got the whole box set for the first Mistborn series for Christmas last year and I thought you know it's about time I finally pick this up all I know is that this book is about um, the, instead of the trope where the good guy wins, I guess in this book the bad guy actually wins and the bad guy's been reigning for a really long time and now the good guys are trying to win again. So that is all that I know about this book, but I'm really intrigued and I really hope I love it because it seems like everybody else does. Next, I have Sandpiper Cove by Irene Hannon. You probably saw my last video where I was talking about book recommendations for my grandparents, and this is the third book in that series. And this is just about the police chief. Her name is Lexi, and she is a single mom police chief in Hope Harbor. And then there is a guy named Adam Stone, who apparently is an ex-con. I don't know how that's going to work out, but it's intriguing. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Next, I have Breasts and Eggs by Mieko Kawakami. She is going to Tokyo from Osaka to see her younger sister Natsuko. So it just kind of talks about their lives. And pretty much it's about this woman who travels with her daughter to see her younger sister Natsuko. And this woman's from Osaka, she travels to Tokyo, and is kind of talking about like some trauma that they had in their childhood, and a lot of the struggles that they have with just like their bodies. That's the basic thing that I know about this book. And also, I'm doing a buddy read with one of my new booktube friends, her name is Prashanti, and we are reading another book by her, which is called Heaven. So that one's also on my TBR. We're going to be finishing it in the month of August. So I'm really excited to get to that one. I will leave her channel down below. Her channel name is Literary Musings. So please go check her out. And the last book that I have is The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon. I've heard this book from Gabby from Gabby Reads. And this one just sounds really intriguing. I also have The Winter People by her, but I haven't read that one yet. I thought I would start with this one. So I'm just going to read the inside for you guys. It says, when social worker Jax receives nine missed calls from her older sister, Lexi, she assumes it's just another one of her sister's episodes. Manic and increasingly out of touch with reality, Lexi has pushed Jax away for over a year. But the next day, Lexi is dead, drowned in the pool at their grandmother's estate. When Jax arrives at the house to go through her sister's things, she learns that Lexi was researching the history of their family and the property. She dives deeper into the research herself and discovers that the land holds a far darker past than she could have ever imagined. So that sounds really intriguing to me. This is going to be like my only kind of mystery thriller for this month, but I'm really intrigued by this and I'm looking forward to getting to it as well. 
So that is it guys, that is it for my August TBR. I try to leave a little bit of wiggle room so that I can read some other stuff, usually for audiobooks. I've also been on a really big romance kick. So I'll be talking about my July wrap up soon, but oh my gosh, I've been reading or listening to a lot of good historical romance books. So I'm probably gonna be throwing some more of those into my TBR as well, but I just don't know which ones yet as of this point. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below. Let me know what you guys are reading this month. I'm really excited to hear what you guys are reading. And let me know if you read any of these books or if you have any interest in any of these books. I'd love to talk to you guys. And until next time.